Hi, this is Darren Maralia, head of product at Sempris. And today I'm going to talk about the advantages of our Active Directory forest recovery solution as compared to traditional Active Directory recovery solutions that rely on either system state or bare metal recovery, also known as BMR backups. And this is a particularly important topic because in the event of an Active Directory attack that involves malware, where, for example, your Active Directory domain controllers have been compromised and potentially even encrypted by malware, the downsides of system state and or BMR backups are that you don't necessarily know when those malware were introduced into your environment, and they could be in your backups. And the nature of system state and BMR backups is that they include everything that the operating system currently has on it, including potentially malware. This contrasts with the Sempris ADFR solution, which you see on the screen in front of you, which relies on a specific backup technology that allows us to decouple the Active Directory part of the backup from the operating system. So you deploy a clean destination server and we can put Active Directory back on that server without the risk of reintroducing malware. So what I wanna to do to sort of articulate this and show the differences is to show what it looks like to recover a Active Directory server with system state after it's been infected. And then I'll show the difference of doing that same thing with our ADFR solution to show you how the approach is completely different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Active Directory domain controller that I have in this environment. And so I'm logging into the DC. And now what we see is this DC has been compromised by a WannaCry ransomware. So now what I need to do is I need to recover this DC. And I have a previously made system state and BMR backup that I'm gonna use as a first step to show what this looks like using those kinds of solutions. So I just use WB admin in Windows to be able to create this backup, but it's the same concept as if you were using a third-party solution that relies on system state or BMR. So I'm going to go ahead and boot into Active Directory repair mode. Okay, so now my server's back up in safe boot mode, directory services repair mode, and I'm going to go ahead and log into it locally since AED is not running at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and run the backup utility to do a recovery. And now I'm going to choose to do a recovery. So we'll go ahead and recover this server, most recent available, and I have a bare metal recovery that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna just include everything. There we go. And I'm gonna overwrite the existing version. And let's go ahead and recover. And we're gonna go ahead and let this uh, progress to the point where the server's been recovered. Okay, so now our full recovery has completed. So now we're gonna put ourselves into normal boot mode. So let's go ahead and run MS config and take off safe boot and restart. And let's go ahead and log in. And unfortunately, what we see is that the ransomware stuck in our bare metal backup has just gotten reintroduced on the domain controller. And so we're back to square one. So now what I wanna do is shift gears and show you what this looks like with the Sempera solution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this box down and I'm gonna spin up a new server 2016 box and use Semperus's Active Directory Forest Recovery Solution to recover Active Directory to that domain controller. Okay, so now I've got my new Server 2016 box stood up. I'm gonna go to ADFR, and ADFR is telling me that, well, I can't find the agent on the DC, so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the agent to my new box. So now once the agent is installed, I can go ahead and perform a forest recovery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and perform a forest recovery using the backup sets that I've created in the product. And I've got a, my domain controller here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that, go through the analysis phase, and it's gonna recover that from backup. Now keep in mind, this is a brand new Server 2016 box, same operating system version as the original DC that was infected with malware but a different VM, and it's got uh, the same disk layout as the original server that was backed up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and recover that from the Semperus ADFR backup. Go ahead and start the forest recovery, and it's gonna go through all the steps that are required to recover a forest, regardless of whether I have one or a thousand domain controllers. In this case, it should go by pretty quick, uh, but we'll just go ahead and let it do its thing. And just checking in on our forced recovery, it's moving along. It's now restored the domain controller from backup, and it's in the post-restore tasks, including any metadata cleanup, any additional DCs that need to be demoted before they can be re-promoted, DNS cleanup, namespace reconstruction, and then finally, cleaning up of the domains, recreation of the global catalog, which is where it's at. And in the case of a forced recovery where we have multiple domain controllers and we might want to re-promote some of those, we'll generate IFMs if it's appropriate and then go into the re-promotion phase. Because this is a single DC domain, we won't have to worry about re-promotion, but we'll let it get through that process until it's complete. Okay, so now our forced recovery has completed. So we can go ahead and get back to our domain controller and looks like it's all up and running, so we can go ahead and log in. And as you can see, we've got no malware bothering us anymore, no, ma no malware screen. Now keep in mind, just to review, we had a domain controller that was infected with ransomware. We had a bare metal backup that was infected with ransomware, such that when we used the bare metal backup to restore the domain controller, we just got the same ransomware back. We spun up a new server 2016 server using Windows Clean ISO and put the Semperus ADFR agent on it and recovered Active Directory to that box. Just Active Directory, not the rest of the operating system along with what may have come with it in the form of malware. And now we're back to a clean Active Directory environment. So in summary, Semperus's ADFR solution for forest recovery gives you an advantage over solutions that rely on system state or BMR in the case of ransomware or malware attack on your domain controllers. For more information about our solutions, including the ADFR product that I just showed you, as well as our DSP, Directory Services Protector product, feel free to visit our website at sempris.com. Thank you.